everyone, it's Abby Andrew back for another live stream today on the Renee of Paris channel. So as you know, with Renee of Paris, we have a couple of our different lines. We have the Renee of Paris line, uh, the Muse collection, the Alexandre Couture collection, Noriko, Amour, so many great lines that are kind of geared towards different um, target demographics and different types of wig styles. And we always have new releases every year for, for each collection. Today, I'm just going to try them on, um, talk about some of the new styles, and maybe try styling them a bit, with, a bit with different like hair ties and things like that. So I thought this would be a really fun opportunity to share that with you all. We have one that's a little bit more of a slightly longer length, one that's more of a medium length, and one that's a little bit shorter. And they're all so fun and cute. There are also a couple of new colors. Unfortunately, I don't have the new colors to show in this video. I always get super excited about the new colors. First, I want to talk about the one I'm wearing now because this is a uh, Renee of Paris limited edition wig. This one is Beach Wave Bob, and I think this is the color... Um, I'll check the color when I take it off because I gotta double check the tag on this one. But this one is super cute. There are a couple of limited edition wigs that that Renee of Paris has, and this is one of them. So yeah. <laughs> so and just to tell you guys the color of this one before I forget, because everyone always wants to know if there's ever a wig that even like flashes on the screen. There's always somebody asking what the style was and what the color was. So I always try to mention uh, to the best of my ability. So this is uh, Beach Wave Bob, and it's the color Marble Brown LR. So really, really cute. Love this style. So I am going to start with the longest one. I feel like people always get really excited about the long styles because they're just so much fun and so beautiful. Okay, I got some of the tags mixed up here, so give me just a second. Here we go. These are all brand new to me, so I'm kind of giving like my first impressions as I show them because they are just so fun and so gorgeous. Still have the tags on. So this one is going to be called... Harley in Creamy Toffee R. Now, Creamy Toffee R is one of, like, the tried and true fan favorites of, like, the Renee of Paris lines. Everyone, it's a pretty popular color, and it's a really great kind of golden blonde color, and this one is the rooted version. So I do have my scissor here just to cut off the tag. It's always funny trying on a wig when it still has the tag on, because it almost feels like a long earring or something like that, but I will just go ahead and trim that off so that I can really style the wig and show you what it looks like. If you are using scissors to cut off the tag, always be very careful not to accidentally cut the hair because I'm always so afraid to do that by mistake. So here's the first new style from the Noriko collection coming out next week. Again, this is in Creamy Toffee R, which the color is one of the popular colors from the Renee of Paris lines. And this one is called Harley. And it is lace front and lace part which if you're not familiar with that, it has that really realistic looking lace front in the front, so the really realistic looking hairline, and then it extends back to one side of the part, which is a great cap for if you're someone that like, you know you aren't going to want to change your part often. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on. Oh my gosh, this one is so fun and cute. I always love the blonde colors. I feel like I'm in a bit of a brunette phase right now, but then whenever I put on a blonde wig, I'm like, oh, I gotta switch back. <laughs> if you guys are familiar with uh, my Instagram and my own pages, I am constantly switching wig colors and styles. So love the brunettes and also love the blondes. This one is such a natural looking blonde too, especially with the root, kind of like a nice golden gorgeous color. Now the style is such a cute, nice, like kind of shoulder length style. Also very natural looking. Like it definitely looks like it was styled really nicely at a salon, but it also looks like you could have achieved this style at home, if that makes sense. Like there are some wigs that are just so glamorous. It always just looks like you got your hair freshly done, which is really nice. But then it's also nice to have one that looks like you might have just styled it yourself at home. Just depends on what kind of look that you're going for. And I'm going to pull out some hair ties and some clips and let's see what kind of styles we can do to this wig because I think that would look really pretty. Now whenever I have a wig that's about this length, I do like just to show what it looks like in a ponytail so that if you are someone that wants to get this wig yourself, you know kind of, that kind of helps to show what the density of the wig is and if, if it can actually reach into a ponytail. So first let me kind of show you what it looks like all the way around. It's about the same length all the way around. And I will show you that uh, lace front and lace part that I mentioned. That's what it looks like from the outside. So it just kind of gives you that really natural looking hairline as if it's growing out of your own scalp. 
you always want to make sure that there's no hairs tucked under the lace front because that can be a dead giveaway that's a lace front so you just want to very gently kind of like pull those out from under but yeah and then it also has that lace part which is very realistic looking so let's go ahead and just put this in a ponytail just to see what that looks like Wow, so this actually goes really nicely into a ponytail, especially with that lace front. You can really like gently brush the whole thing back. You might have to be careful with the wig kind of sliding back on you, but you can just readjust it afterwards. So this really nicely does go into a ponytail, which is cool. So all the hair does fit back and reach into the ponytail, but when I like to wear my ponytails, I kind of like to pull some strands forward because I like to just have those like kind of front hanging layers, almost like little side bangs. So I like to kind of pull some parts forward here like that. Whenever I'm trying on a new wig, it's always, it takes a moment to decide how big I want my forehead to be with different styles, which is something that of course people who have their own hair don't have to think about but when you are totally bald like I am sometimes you have to kind of decide where your own hairline should start so I feel like right about there looks good see that looks so cute I really really like this style now with the Noriko collection all of the Noriko styles are very glamorous and very voluminous as well and I love that and this is kind of a really nice balance between having that nice volume and density without being too voluminous if uh, if you're not someone that likes that so it's a really nice kind of happy medium in the Noriko line that's what I love about all of the partial lace part wigs because it kind of has that really natural looking, less voluminous part on one side and then it kind of gives you that nice volume on the other side. So it's a really perfect, happy medium. So this is very, very cute. <laughs> and just to show like maybe some bobby pins or something, I can just kind of... Also, um, people always ask if you can put the wigs behind your ear, so just, just to show it's very comfortable to put it behind your ear. If the wig cap fits you properly, there is supposed to be a little spot for your ear to hang, and I always just kind of like tucking it behind my ear to get the hair out of my face. And I will also just bobby pin it back as well, just to show you what that looks like. So that's really cute as well. So again, this is the longest one of the three styles. So let me see what other kind of cute styles I can put it in while I have it on, because the longer styles you can do a little bit more styling with. I wanna to try to do, so Texas Wig Fairy, or Dami, who again is one of our social media family on here at Renee of Paris, she always does these really fun updos. So I kinda of wanna try one of her updos. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. I don't know if I can do it justice, but if you kinda of like, as long as the wig cap is on securely and you kind of just flip the hair over, you can kind of catch it all into a high ponytail. She does it so well and it kind of takes me a lot of practice, but she always makes it look so good. So something like that. I don't know if I totally want to commit to this updo, but this is something Danny totally always does with her wigs and she makes it look amazing. That's kind of a fun style. I'm sure she'll probably do this same exact thing with her live stream on Monday. But if I just had like a little hair clip, I could pin it back like that and it would just be a really nice glamorous updo with the medium wig. And then when you are putting your wig up like this, you just want to feel around the bottom and make sure there's no pieces of the wig cap sticking out. And you can just very gently kind of pull some hair down to cover it. But this right here, it looks so cute. Let's see if I have a good hair clip to hold this back. I don't know if I do. Let me try a ponytail. Kind of do like a cute little messy bun moment, messy bun moment. Okay, that is honestly so cute. So I don't often put my wigs up into like high ponytails like that, but I love the way this looks. And the fact that it is kind of messy looking almost makes it look even more natural. So that is a really cute way to wear these sort of medium length wigs. 
wow, I really like how that came out. So thank you to Texas Wigberry for always talking about this kind of updo style. I think a lot of people are intimidated by updos and high ponytails with wigs because they think it's going to expose too much of the cap. But if, if you are careful, um, you can totally do higher ponytails and higher updos. So check out Texas Wig Fairy's tutorials on it, as well as on the Renee of Parish channel, I also did a tutorial on ponytails with wigs if you ever need help figuring out how to do that. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next new release. Wow, okay, so here's something else with wigs too. When you put your hair back and you want to make sure it looks neat, you can just take it off and take a look. And I'm kind of impressed with myself that that actually looks like a cute little bun. It's definitely in the, the realm of like messy bun, but it looks cute. I love this. I'm totally going to wear this wig like that pretty often. Okay, so I am going to move on to the next new release from the Noriko collection coming out next week. Again, I'm just going to trim the tag off. Always be careful that you're not accidentally trimming any of the wig hairs when you're cutting the tag off. Okay, so this next one is called Meadow in Deep Smoky Brown. Now this is a color I don't believe I have tried before. It's kind of, it's just a very dark brown, kind of like a cappuccino style color. But kind of almost getting in the realm of black or like dark, dark gray, but kind of, I wouldn't say it's gray, but it's definitely a very dark color. Kind of more in like the cappuccino, espresso category of wig colors, if you're familiar with those wig collection colors from Renee of Paris. So this one is called Meadow in Deep Smoky Brown. So let's go ahead and put this on. This one is the shortest of the three new releases. Now I did put this one on earlier and I was surprised by how much I love this style. And by surprised, I, I just mean the fact that normally I typically go for longer styles or like normally if I'm going for a short style, I usually have it at least chin length. So I'm not used to seeing myself in wigs this short, but I love this. It is so cute and it kind of is just like perfectly at the jawline for like that kind of nice contoured look so this one is so adorable and i really just love how the hairs are like really wispy and cute and it's just so flowy i love these like wispy bangs this wispy bang moment now this wig cap is one of the feather light machine dyed caps which is a relatively new thing from the noriko line it's just kind of a more lightweight version of the machine dyed cap and it is very very comfortable and very lightweight on my head again since i have alopecia i am just wearing these directly on my bald head. I never really wear wig caps or anything like that, and the wigs always feel very comfortable and secure. So this is just a slightly more lightweight version of the machine tied caps. But this is so cute. I just love like the nice little layers, the bangs, the way it flows is just so, so adorable and natural looking. So cute. So again, there's not much I can do in terms of styling, in terms of hair ties, because it is a shorter style. But what I love to do with these shorter styles is just use cute little hair clips. So I have my whole little bag of hair clips here. So let's see if I can find some fun ones. Maybe this cute little beret. Oh, this will look so cute. Okay. Let's use one of these classic little berets. Put some little clips in it. <gasps> that is so cute. I definitely would want to play around with that to see what other kind of like placements I'd want to do with these. And the dark purple might even be too dark for the dark hair. It doesn't really show up as much on camera. So let's add in this kind of light pink one. I love these little pops of color with these kind of hairstyles. I mean, with these little hair clips. So that is a really cute look. <laughs> I just love these little wispy bangs. Now I do want to show you the cap construction because it is this uh, feather light or the lightweight machine tied cap. Take like the clips out so those aren't peeking through as I'm showing you the cap. So here's what that looks like from the inside. It doesn't look too different from a regular machine type cap, but it's just very, very lightweight, very comfortable. And it has a really nice soft velvet lining around the very front. So it's just very comfortable on your head. But I just love the layers and the way this wig flows. Like, look at that. It's just so cute and so effortless with these little wispy bangs. Okay, so what do you guys think? Should I move on to the final wig of the new Noriko releases? This one might, the last one might be my favorite and it's also in a really fun color. Now the color isn't new, but it's super gorgeous and it's new to me. So I was really excited to pull this out of the box. 
to go ahead and cut the tag off. Sometimes you don't even have to cut it off. You can just kind of loop it through. So I'm going to do that with this one. Okay. So this last one is called Zane in the color Melted Coconut. So let's go ahead and do a little swap here. And before I end this video, I will do a quick recap for anyone that wasn't here from the beginning and just go over all the three new styles really quick. Just swap them out and show how they all look. So this one again is called Zane in Melted Coconut, but just look how beautiful that color is. Just the way, I love these melted colors. There's a couple of other melted colors that exist in the Renee of Paris lines. There's Melted Marshmallow, which is kind of a blonde version of this. There's Melted Ocean, which is an absolutely gorgeous blue gradient. But these melted colors always have kind of like a darker root and then kind of like a medium tone color in the middle and then just light frosted tips at the bottom. And I just love the way that blonde just kind of peeks out. And you'll see once I have it on as well is it's so subtle, it just kind of like peeks out as the hair moves. And it's just the most beautiful gradient. These melted colors are some of my favorite colors from Rene of Paris. This one again is lace front and lace part again which gives you that natural looking hairline and part. So this one of the three might be my personal favorite. It is just so, so cute. And I think wigs that are about this length are always my favorite because I just think they're so effortless, so flattering on every face shape in my opinion. So this one is probably my favorite, so cute. So check out this color, again, Melted Coconut. I definitely want to try different updos with this style because I feel like the way the blonde kind of peeks out at the bottom is just so beautiful. Like that. So let me try putting it in a kind of half ponytail because I think that'll really expose that under layer of blonde with this color. Let's see. As you're putting your wig into a ponytail, you can kind of like comb through the top to make sure that nothing is sticking up. Okay, so that is really cute. Let me take a look at it before I turn around, make sure that's what I love doing with my ponytails, is once I put a wig in a ponytail, I can just take it off and make sure there's no wig cap exposed or hair strands sticking out. So that looks pretty good. And now, just like I was hoping it would do, it kind of exposed a little bit more of that blonde color underneath. That is so fun. So let me put this back on and show you how it actually looks on my head. I love these side bangs. They're just so light and kind of flirty. Here's from the back. So I really just love the melted colors and how there's just such a dynamic range of colors in the wig. And half ponytail styles like this are just such a fun way to make a look just kind of cute and casual and effortless. When you're taking out your ponytails, just be sure to do it very gently so you're not pulling out any hair. Nice and gentle. So which one of these has been your favorite so far? Comment below. I will go over them one more time, okay? So get ready um, and then vote below which one is your favorite on me. And that's the fun about wigs too, is the one that is my favorite, like on me, might look different on somebody else and maybe a different one is their favorite. So it's, it really just depends on your personal style, your face shape and things like that. And just your personal preference. Um, someone said, is what you're wearing lace? I love the style. Yeah, so this one is, uh, this one was Zane. Make sure I'm not mixing up the names. This one is Zane, and this one is lace front and lace part. So here is the lace. Uh, my camera is kind of changing exposure, so let me kind of block the light <laughs> so you can see it a little bit better. So yeah, lace front, very natural looking, and then it has the lace part on the left side. So that lace extends all the way back. So it's very natural looking on top. Okay. So get ready to vote, okay? So this one is Zane in the color Melted Coconut. Okay, let's switch to the next one. The one I was just wearing a moment ago. 
new style number two. This one is called Meadow in Deep Smoky Brown. This one is just so fun and the layers are just so cute the way they kind of like they're just such a fun I really I don't know how to describe it they're just so fun and kind of like choppy but in a really cute fashionable way it kind of feels like 90s grunge vibes to me especially with the color and the short hair like this it just flows so nicely like look at that so this one is meadow so this is option number two this gorgeous kind of medium length wig this one is Harley This one is also lace front and lace part. <laughs> now before I put this in a really cute updo, and I really loved how that looked, so love this. So someone is saying they liked two and one. So I guess, the, is this one three? So I guess Zane was the first one I showed. So Zane. It says Meadow is the second one, and then Harley is the third one. So let me know which one of the three you liked best on me. And also, separately, let me know which one you think you would like best for yourself. Because the one that you think looks best on me, you might think one of the other ones are more fitted towards you. And that's the fun of wigs, is the different styles fit different people differently. And everyone has different preferences. And that's the beauty of it. And of course, there are plenty of different colors offered for all of these wigs. Meadow is not lace front, so Meadow actually has kind of a wispy bang, and personally, in my opinion, I find that when you have a bang, you don't really need a lace front since it is covered anyway. So this one is just the uh, lightweight machine tied cap, which gives a really nice volume, and it also is very lightweight and comfortable in your head as well. I think I showed before, but that's what the inside of that cap looks like. I'm having a hard time choosing my preference between Harley and uh, Zane. They are both so cute. I also just really am obsessed with this melted coconut color. I've never tried this color before, and it is just so fun. Like, I don't know if you guys can really see, like, just how beautiful and dynamic that color is. All the melted colors are just incredible. I'm having bad luck with lace, so I stick to bangs. Thank you. Yeah, but I, I just find um, if you're not comfortable with lace front, the good thing about the Renee of Paris lace front wigs is they do all come pre-trimmed, so there's not any like trick to it. This is just straight out of the, of the box, how it is. Super easy, looks very natural looking. Sometimes when you get wigs like from other cheaper companies, you have to like trim the lace yourself, and it feels like you might accidentally cut the wig or something like that. That's the beauty of these, that they come pre-trimmed and they're very comfortable as well, in my opinion. But different things work for different people. So that is the beauty of other wigs that don't have the lace front. Some people prefer that as well. And personally, I always love wigs with bangs because the hairline is just covered and you don't even have to worry about it or think about it at all. So it just depends on what kind of hairstyles you prefer. So thank you all so much for watching this live stream. I hope I had a good connection the whole time. I know Instagram went down shortly before I went live. I believe that if you missed anything in the beginning, it should all post to our IGTV after I'm done with this live stream. So if you want, you could always go back and watch it there. Feel free to comment any questions on that video as well. And we always will uh, love to get back to you and answer any questions that you may have. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you have a lovely, beautiful weekend and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.